Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is the Danish Bacon! He is back, and he, this time he's driving the M4A1 Rev. This thing is a Tier 8 French Premium Tank. It's a little weird, I know. Like, I mean, French Premium Tank, but it looks like an Easy 8. No, well, it's, it's French. Um, yeah, and uh, it does a ton of damage with this giant gun on it. Wait, is he? Is his APCR is standard? How did I forget about that? <laughs> Big 105 pumping out death. Um, this is a, a tier 9 game on Runeberg, and this thing, I mean, is not amazing in a couple of ways, but that gun is nice and meaty, and it will pump, put out some serious alpha, especially if they're just going to sit there and take it. I mean, that bad chat. I don't know what he was thinking was going to happen, but clearly he did not think he was going to get farmed for damage, which is exactly what Bacon just did to him. And then the object 430 runs into the building, because in the building, he can't possibly escape from us. <laughs> he is running strong coffee, um, which is going to improve his stats a little bit, uh, but really, assuming you took any tank you wanted to, you could do similar things. Now it is... He is playing in a rather more dangerous spot because he does have an open flank. Um, but it is allowing him to get some really great shots that he would not necessarily be able to have if he was, you know, 20 feet to his left kind of thing, right? It just means he has to keep his head on a swivel a little bit more. And, um... Wait, USA Master? Are you playing on the EU server or the NA server right now, Bacon? Because if you're on NA, we gotta tune up at some point. And if you're not, like, I mean, I, I don't actually expect that you're playing on NA, but I still want to tune up with you if, if, if we can do that. Uh, Supershing, Supershing, ooh, Supershing Insight, yeah, kinda. He must be going between buildings. Well, that was aggressive. Is that being fired at the enemy? Is that, is that like, ten, <laughs> 20 feet off target? Uh huh. Yeah, come on, Prigero, just fall back a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that prediction. Yeah, we'll get spotted for that. I don't care. Oops. I I guess I care a little bit. But um, well done, Bacon. Just he saw the opportunity and he waited and he waited and he was rewarded with a kill. And um, ha, <laughs> good job. Okay, so we're at two and a half thousand damage done so far. He's looking for more damage, but I think he's... I was going to have to... going to say, I think he's going to have to go find it. But then it found him. That is 1,600 health he'd love to munch on. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to. Now, there's a little bit of a dead tank issue he's going to have to deal with. But, I mean, it's still just a Tiger 2. Assuming it doesn't realize he's here. For some reason, there's a Tiger 2 up here with the medium tanks. I don't understand it, but again, if it, as long as it doesn't realize exactly where he is. Uh, that did not look, Oh, that was a Fertinand uh, that hit the, uh, <laughs> the bad chad. I thought for a second the even 90 did, like, you know, a nice meaty hit. And that, that's not how that tank does it. Ooh, good shot as the artillery goes down. And now we're up to just under 3,000 damage done. I'm sure he's looking for shots on the prototype. I don't think he's going to find one without actually pushing out. Uh, but he will find a shot on this Waffentrager right here. Unfortunately, because he got lit, the Waffentrager definitely had a shot in return. So he's going to want to pull back and make sure he is not a target. We want the Waffentrager to shoot something else. And then it can, you know, then we can shoot again. And, you know, we'll just keep going like that. Looks like the prototype is kind of paying attention except it just shot something or it was taking a long time to aim I don't know which doesn't really matter either way we got it one ineffective shot on in on it um, the flat cheeks of the front of the prototype are definitely something you shoot for damage it's the best place to pen it assuming you're having trouble penning the turret ring or the, the turret sides 
Um, however, it's still some thick armor. So you still got to have some actual pen in order to go through it. Uh, we are going to speed this up a little bit. Um, I was going to say just in front until he finds the Waffen Chugger. Because it is the only thing near him. And now we're definitely going to speed up because there is nothing else anywhere near him. He's going to have to travel a while before he's going to get another shot. And there, there's no point in just sitting around and watching and waiting. And there we go. Side shot on the Minnie Mouse. And he gets it. Gets the cap reset. And, um, well, now it's only the 4.30. 4.30. This is the one that escaped on us earlier. Gets a great side shot on it. And now it's looking to just continue to push in and and get more damage done. The 430, though, has a problem behind him, so he's not going to be coming back out again. So we're going to fast forward to a gray button now when we get that next shot on him. No! He, in fact, spots us and pushes the other way. IS-3 is just out there to die, so why not kill him? Um, Minnie Mouse goes down to the even 90, and now we are hunting down the last remaining enemy tank. And all our allies are coming in from behind, right? So we're going to get the next, the first shot in on him. As long as, as it's a good one, it should be... I was going to say, as long as it's a good one, it should be good, but, you know. And then you go and do that, Bacon. You've had an excellent game. And then you go and do that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Ace tanker, obviously. Fire for effect. Um, three bonds, 77,000 credits made. Well done. He gets the Confederate, the High Cobber, and the Tank Sniper. He actually only got three kills in all of that. Though he did a ton of damage to a bunch of different tanks. Um, and I'm actually really surprised he didn't get any damage in on that Tiger 2. I actually didn't see how the Tiger 2 died. Uh, it <laughs> didn't die very well. <laughs> it only got 600 damage dealt. Um, I'm guessing it went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Ferdinand? I, uh, it's the only thing I can think of. I can't think of anything else that it would have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with. That would have done anything to it. Um, especially as it was back there. And I can't think of what else was around it when, I, when we last left it. But you guys can rewind the video and look. <laughs> it's going to take a lot more effort than that for me to get there. But oh well. Um, all things considered, this was a great game and I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Dan, for saying it in. I'm so glad to get a game from you. It's been too long, dude. Don't don't let it go this long again without another game, please. And uh prefer we, we get a, uh, a tune-up or actually... Um, I haven't checked out your channel lately, but I should go do that. And so I will put up a card somewhere in the video with a link to ba Bacon's channel. If you guys want to go check out some more stuff from him, go to his channel and check out his awesomeness. Okay, that is it for today. This is actually me signing out. So thank you very much. Have a great night. This is IO Ether out.